ancient Egypt, famed for its majestic pyramids and mighty pharaohs, also harbored a liquid secret that flowed through the daily lives of its people. Beer. But how was this beverage crafted along the Nile's banks, and what set it apart from the beer we know today? By the end of this video, you'll uncover the mysteries behind the beer that flowed within pharaonic temples and aided pyramid construction. Egyptian beer, often called zythum, was a pivotal part of daily sustenance. It was viewed both as food and drink due to its thick consistency and nutritional value. Not just a staple, beer also held a ceremonial and religious role in Egyptian society. It was frequently used in offerings to the gods and as payment to laborious, especially those building the Grand Pyramids. Brewing beer was a meticulous process. It began with germinating barley grains, spread out and moistened until they sprouted. This phase took between three and five days. Once germinated, the barley was sun-dried, a process lasting one or two days, depending on the weather. After drying, it was ground into coarse flour. The flour was mixed with water to form a dough, which was then shaped into loaves. These loaves were partially baked in large clay ovens. The baked loaves were crumbled into water and left to ferment outdoors. Fermentation varied, but ancient Egyptian beer typically fermented for one to three days. With a lower alcohol content than modern beer, it didn't require extended fermentation. Lengthy exposure was avoided due to climatic conditions. The heat could escalate bacterial growth, potentially turning the brew lethal from gastroenteritis. Once fermented, the beer was strained, and various spices and herbs were often added to enhance and customize the brews. Some of these included, dates, these fruits often sweetened the beer, imparting a smoother, fruity taste. Fennel, known for its aniseed flavor, it gave the beer a unique taste. Coriander, this spice added a citrusy and mildly spicy touch. Ginger, though not fully documented, ginger might have been used in some recipes for a spicy kick. Aromatic herbs, it's believed that herbs like mint and cilantro were occasionally added for aroma and flavor. Beer production and consumption in ancient Egypt were deeply embedded in culture and society. Brewing was a common household activity. As beer was a staple, akin to bread, many families brewed their daily consumption. Homemade beer was typically simpler in quality and consumed swiftly due to its short shelf life. As Egyptian civilization progressed, larger, state-controlled or temple-affiliated breweries emerged. They produced vast beer quantities for religious rituals, offerings to deities, or nourishing workers constructing landmarks like the pyramids. Pyramid workers were known to receive daily beer rations as part of their wages. Beyond state breweries, commercial breweries brewed beer for public sale. Their sizes ranged from small ventures to expansive commercial operations. Beer in ancient Egypt played a vital role in daily life, religious rituals, and sacred ceremonies. Its significance went beyond mere consumption, bearing spiritual and symbolic connotations. It was a customary offering to gods in temples. Offering beer was believed to ensure divine favor and benevolence. Many temples housed jugs and vessels specifically designed for beer offerings. During festivals and celebrations, beer was consumed in vast quantities. One of the most celebrated was the Feast of Intoxication, dedicated to the goddess Atha. Drinking beer during this festival was believed to rejuvenate the spirit and bring participants closer to the deity. Beer was often among the provisions left in tombs for the deceased, ensuring ample supply in the afterlife. It also played a role in libation ceremonies during burial rites. In some legends, beer was said to shield humanity from divine wrath or malevolent spirits. One renowned tale narrates how the enraged goddess Sekhmet was pacified and transformed into Atha after drinking red-tinted beer, mistaking it for blood. Owing to its infusion with herbs and spices, beer also served medicinal purposes. Priests and healers prescribed beer mixed with specific ingredients as part of treatments and healing rituals. Over time, Egypt's brewing tradition influenced other Middle Eastern and Mediterranean cultures. Various brewing techniques merged and adapted, giving birth to the diverse beer varieties we relish today. But, as in any grand saga, there were moments of change and revelation. One pivotal moment occurred when a bold woman ventured to add hops to the mix. 
this woman and her vision forever altered B's history. But that's a tale deserving its spotlight. I hope you've enjoyed this journey through history and flavors. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe to not miss any episodes of our adventures. Your support enables us to continue bringing captivating stories and unforgettable moments. And if you're eager for more, check out our other videos. There's always something new and thrilling awaiting you on Tales from History.